Welcome to Hydrohaven. Today we're exploring how compost and humus, nature's miracle workers, can solve the most common soil challenges faced by gardeners. Whether you're growing in containers or garden beds, adding organic matter is the sustainable solution that transforms struggling gardens into thriving ecosystems. Let's dive into six soil problems that compost can fix, providing you with practical solutions you can implement right away. Problem 1. Soil compaction, when your soil is too dense for life. Compacted soil restricts root growth, prevents water infiltration, and suffocates beneficial soil organisms. You can identify it when water pools on the surface or when plants develop shallow sideways growing root systems. While mechanical tilling offers temporary relief, compost provides a lasting solution. When incorporated into compacted soil, compost particles create permanent air channels that allow roots to penetrate deeply and water to move freely. The organic matter also feeds earthworms and other soil fauna that create their own tunnels as they move through the soil, further alleviating compaction naturally. For container gardens experiencing compaction, mix compost into your potting medium when refreshing containers or apply as a top dressing for established plants. Work it gently into the top few inches to rejuvenate the growing environment without disturbing established roots. Within weeks you'll notice improved drainage and plant vigor as roots access the newly available airspaces. Problem 2. Poor water retention in sandy soil, when water disappears too quickly. Sandy soil drains rapidly, causing constant drought stress for plants and requiring frequent watering. This rapid drainage also leaches away valuable nutrients before plants can access them creating a continuous cycle of fertilization with diminishing returns. Compost transforms sandy soil by dramatically increasing its water holding capacity. Each particle of decomposed organic matter can hold up to 20 times its weight in water, creating microscopic reservoirs throughout the soil profile. Beyond water retention, compost also reduces nutrient leaching by providing negatively charged sites that attract and temporarily hold positively charged nutrient ions. For existing sandy beds, incorporate 3 to 4 inches of quality compost into the top 8 to 10 inches of soil. In containers with quick draining media, either repot with a mix containing 30 to 40 percent compost or top dress extensively. Within a single growing season you'll notice plants requiring significantly less irrigation and fertilizer. Problem 3. Poor drainage in clay soil when water won't soak away. Clay soil presents the opposite challenge. Water moves so slowly that plants often suffocate in waterlogged conditions. The microscopic, plate-like particles stack tightly together, creating a nearly impermeable barrier to both water movement and root penetration. This extreme behavior creates a challenging environment as roots are alternately exposed to air through cracks when dry and deprived of oxygen when wet. Compost moderates these extremes by changing the fundamental structure of clay soil. It creates soil aggregates, clusters where clay particles gather around humus cores instead of binding directly to each other. These aggregates form stable channels that allow both water and air to move more freely. Over time, this improved structure enables clay soil to drain excess water while still retaining adequate moisture for plant health. For clay soil in containers, incorporate up to 50% compost into your potting mix. In garden beds, add 2 to 3 inches of compost annually and allow soil organisms to incorporate it naturally. This approach gradually transforms even the heaviest clay into workable, productive soil without damaging soil structure through excessive tilling. Problem 4. pH imbalance, when your soil chemistry fights against you. Soil pH dramatically affects nutrient availability. When the pH swings too far in either direction, certain nutrients become chemically locked up regardless of how much fertilizer you apply. One of compost's most valuable qualities is its ability to buffer soil pH, moderating both acidic and alkaline conditions toward the middle range. This buffering capacity comes from humic acids and other organic compounds that can either donate or accept hydrogen ions as needed, effectively neutralizing pH extremes. In acidic soils, compost helps raise the pH gradually while providing organic forms of calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus that remain more accessible even in challenging conditions. In alkaline soils, compost introduces humic acids that help release micronutrients like iron and manganese back into plant-available forms. For container gardeners dealing with pH issues, incorporate 30-40% to 40 compost into your growing medium. 
In garden beds with extreme pH issues, annual applications of 2 to 3 inches of compost will gradually build a more balanced growing environment while still supporting plant growth during the transition period. Problem 5. Pest and Disease Vulnerability When Your Garden Becomes a Buffet Plants growing in poor soil with imbalanced nutrition become stressed and more susceptible to pests and diseases. Mature compost introduces a diverse microbial community that creates what scientists call a suppressive soil, an environment that actively inhibits many common plant pathogens through competition, antibiotic production, and induced resistance. Research shows particularly strong protection against soil-borne diseases when compost makes up at least 20% of the growing medium. This protective effect extends beyond the soil to plant surfaces as beneficial microbes colonize leaf and stem tissues creating a living barrier against airborne pathogens. For gardens with disease histories, incorporate compost at rates of 4 to 6 cubic feet per 100 square feet. In containers, using compost tea as both a soil drench and foliar spray can establish beneficial microbial communities throughout the growing system, reducing or eliminating the need for chemical interventions. Problem 6. Nutrient depletion and cycling, when your soil becomes empty. Without organic matter inputs, soil essentially becomes an empty vessel, lacking both nutrients and the biological mechanisms to process and deliver them effectively. Compost re-establishes natural nutrient cycling by providing both immediate and slow-release nutrition, along with the microorganisms that make those nutrients available to plants. Beyond the nutrients it contains, compost's humus fraction improves the soil's cation exchange capacity, often abbreviated as CEC. This is the soil's ability to hold on to positively charged nutrient ions, rather than allowing them to leach away. A higher CEC means well a more efficient use of any nutrients you add, whether they come from organic or synthetic sources. For vegetable gardens, incorporating 1 to 2 inches of compost before each planting cycle ensures continuous nutrient availability. In perennial gardens, annual top dressing with half to 1 inch of compost maintains fertility while supporting the complex soil food web that delivers nutrients in balanced proportions. These six soil problems rarely occur in isolation. Most struggling gardens face multiple challenges simultaneously. The beauty of compost is that it addresses all these issues comprehensively, working with nature's processes rather than against them. Each application builds upon previous improvements, creating cumulative benefits that increase over time. Whether you make your own compost or source quality material locally, this black gold represents the most sustainable way to address virtually every soil challenge. By working with nature's own soil building systems, you create a garden that becomes more productive and resilient with each passing season. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hydrohaven YouTube channel for more guides on soil health, container gardening, and sustainable growing practices. If you've experienced the transformative power of compost in your own garden, share your story in the comments below and help inspire other gardeners to rebuild their soil the natural way. Together, we can grow not just better plants, but healthier ecosystems from the ground up.